everyone. Welcome back to our channel, The Soren Seward Family. Happy Friday. Welcome back to another Friday mommy moment with me. And if it's your first time here, know that you do not have to be a mommy to enjoy this moment. All you need is a moment. As you guys know, last week was our 25th Friday mommy moment. Ah, round of applause, round of applause. You still have time to enter for the giveaway. We are doing the giveaway, announcing it live on our 30 minute Thursdays live next Thursday. So make sure that you tune in to see who won. If you don't know the rules, I will be dropping the rules down in the description box so you cannot be left out. And there's still time to enter. You guys already know that I have my coffee. You go and you grab your beverage and your snacks, whatever it is that you need to come and kick it with me. Hold on, if you have not smashed that subscribe button, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you're notified whenever we upload a video. I'm so excited you're here. Let's get to it, shall we? Here. This has been a really, really trying week for me and my family. It's been really just a roller coaster. I was once told that you're either getting ready to go to a valley you're in a valley or you just came out of a valley. Usually I always end up in a valley and I'm like, God, how did I get here? What happened? This time will be the first time that I can see that God is preparing me for this valley that I have entered. A lot of us are in the valley right now. Some of us have just came out the valley. Some of you might be like me where you're entering into your valley. As I'm entering this valley, I am thankful. And some people might say, what do you mean? You know, the valleys are hard, it's hot, it's, it's, it's trying, that's a trying time. What do, you, what do you mean you're thankful? Well, usually, like I said, I just end up in the valley and I'm like, oh my goodness, how did I get here? What's going on? This time I can see where God has allowed me to prepare to go into this valley. I'm thankful for that. And I feel like if I wasn't where I was at in my life right now, I probably would've just ended up in the valley and not been able to hear God's voice saying, you need to prepare. I have begun praying, like I pray all the time, but I've asked God, I said, God, please allow me to keep my joy. Through this time, please allow me to keep my joy. Please allow me to have your perfect peace. And I asked him to carry me. And when I say that and I say carry me, I always see that picture that someone had drawn a long time ago. Nobody knows what Jesus looked like. Nobody knows what God looks like. But people always draw a guy carrying a woman or a guy carrying a man. And it's saying, you know, basically God will carry you through whatever you're going through. And I believe that with my whole heart. But sometimes when you're in the valley, you're trying to do everything on your own. And I can see God saying, clear as day, you not, you are not going to be able to take on this burden without me. Now when I say take on this burden without me, I don't ever think that God is not in my life. But sometimes we try to bear too much. We just try to just go in like, oh yeah, I'm gonna be like this, this isn't gonna affect me, this isn't gonna affect me, and then everything come crashing down. God has prepared me enough to give me enough wisdom to say, you know what, God? I need you to carry me. I cannot do this without you. As we prepare to go into this valley, asking him for peace, joy, and to carry me. Lord, I know I can't do it without you. And I don't plan on doing it without you. Remind me of that daily, so I don't put more on my plate that I know I cannot take. For that, I am thankful. You all that's entering your valley or that's in your valley right now, I encourage you to put a small portion on your plate and give the rest to God. I know what it feels like to try to do it all on your own and the whole valley comes crashing down on you. I don't wanna do that and as I've grown, I know that's the wisest thing that I can do when going into the valley, when being in the valley, and coming out of the valley. So I don't know what it's gonna look like when I come from out of this valley. I don't know. But I want God to carry me through. I wanted to make this message today because I feel that 
anybody that's watching this video, you're in one of those three things. Entering your valley, going through your valley, or you just came out of your valley. And I thank God for that. Whoever this video may fall upon, I want you to know that you're not alone. Whoever may receive this. A lot of people that you're about to enter your valley with will not be with you when you come out of that valley. And that is completely fine because all you need is the Lord Jesus Christ. Because he will carry you through. And when you come out of this valley, like I am claiming I will come out of this valley, I have no idea what's going to be on the outside of that valley. I have no idea. But I know one thing will remain, that Jesus Christ will be there with me. No matter what. And he'll be with you too. So stay encouraged. Because as the seasons change in my life, my personal life, my seasons are changing. And it's not a part of my plan. It's part of God's plan. So I know that he got me. But I needed to come and I wanted to leave this message with you guys. Because you will go through a valley. You will. And in that valley, you reach despair. Some people hit depression, anxiety, loneliness. They feel that they will never, ever come out of that valley. But let me tell you, you will make it out of that valley. I don't know how long the valley is going to last, but you'll make it out. He will always pull you through. Always standing on God's promises. We are standing on God's promises. And that's the great thing about it. In the midst of your storm, in the midst of your valley, happiness comes and goes, but the joy of the Lord will remain. That's how people still smile through it. That's how they still push through it. They get up every morning and they push through it. You gotta push through it. And that don't mean you have to fake happiness or fake joy, whatever. God will give you a joy that people around you will not understand. They'll be like, wait a minute, what? and it's his joy. So, my beautiful people, I had to come to you, and I know that probably might be a little bit like, bam, what's that? It's reality, it's called doing life with you guys, and I'm so glad that I get to do life with you. I am so happy, I'm so happy that I get to do life with you, and you get to do life with me. People, if you're going through a valley, just came out of a valley, or getting ready to go through a valley, drop me a comment down below. Let me know what's going on with you. How can we pray for you today? Yeah, let's get this going. How can we pray for you today? We gotta speak life into situations. You understand me? Because the enemy is a liar. So thank you guys so much for stopping by with me today in the description box i will make sure that the instructions for you to enter the giveaway so you can be there live next week for the drawing on our 30 minute thursdays live i will let you know how to enter down below but until next time you guys what am i gonna say stay blessed stay true and continue to be you because the world needs more people like you and if you're not feeling needed we're always here to let you know that you are needed until next time peace out